Welcome everybody, it's Al Wilson here and you've joined us for another segment of our Salon Success Stories. And I think what's really, really important is as women that we learn from each other and we actually can learn from the experiences that other salon owners have had, the successes that they've had, and we can utilize those in our every single uh, day entrepreneurial world. And uh, there's nothing more precious, nothing more rewarding and amazing as we as women collectively begin to draw in our power and to, to grow together. I mean, for me, that is my absolute passion. I do it every single day of my life practically, apart from the weekends on and off. But, you know, I don't find like what I do is work, so I, I, I seem to do it all the time and I, I, I adore it. And today I'm going to introduce you to one of my absolutely most amazing, amazing True Brow Certified Salon um, uh, ambassadors and this particular I know it's a young woman because she is and I remember um, being absolutely shocked myself when I discovered how old she was she was doing so many things and creating so many amazing things in her life even having babies and you know like traveling from one side of the world to the other and I was kind of like astonished when I actually found out how old she was and, and this happens quite a lot for our Secrets International we have these really young uh, incredible young entrepreneurial spirits that we support to get them to where they really want to be. That for me is absolutely amazing. I love my life. I love what I do. So I'm going to introduce you today to Kelsey Stashka. Hi, Kelsey. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. I just uh, just finished a day of brows, so doing good. Awesome. And do you know what? I can never say I have favourites because I just simply don't. I love absolutely every single one of you. But, you know, I have a very lovely connection with Kelsey and, and our future is extremely, extremely bright. So, Kelsey, I'd love for you to actually share with everyone uh, where you are in the world and um, and your the name of your soul. Well, I think that's really, really important so the girls can actually continue. Possibly you might find some of the soul owners would like to follow you and, and uh, on Instagram or Facebook and just see your progress, what you're doing, and just to connect with you. I really love that idea. And uh, so why don't you share that with us to begin with? Okay. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Kelsey Steitzer. I am located in the U.S., in Iowa, um, I'm in central Iowa, so I am about 10, 15 minutes away from the capital of Des Moines. And my, you know, little salon, it's very little. Um, it's just me right now, but I'm located in a salon suite environment. My business is Artisan Brow and Lash Studio. If you're wanting to follow me on Instagram, like Elle has suggested, it's Artisan Brow and Lash. And that's it. That's wonderful. And I think the reason that I encourage that is so that the girls can actually go on. Someone owners can go on and they can see the work you're doing. They can actually see what you're producing and, and who you are. I think that's really a powerful thing. I love the, the idea of that because, you know, we're going to talk about, uh, Kelsey, how, and I just realized I mispronounced your surname. I do that all the time. It is, it's a really tricky surname, Kelsey, it is. really. It is. It's not my fault, is it? I'm not going to take responsibility. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that. No but I, I just, I want to start at the beginning because we've had, how long have you been with Brow Secrets International? I think you were with us on, well, I know you were with us when we were Brow Artists International right. really years ago, but how long has it been now? It's been three years. Wonderful years. <laughs> oh, that's so beautiful. Three years. Time just flies, doesn't it? And, and yeah. how old are you? Let's share this with everybody. Can you do that for us? I'm, t I just turned 25. Yeah, that is just like, just blows my mind. Like I just, when you, even when you say it now, I just kind of think, no way, there's just no way. So that is so beautiful. And when I think back at when I was 25, I was tracing, you know, going uh, across to the other side of uh, the world from Australia to Europe to find a contract for a skincare line that I was bringing back up. And I, I kind of, in a way, um, and then, of course, I, I, was, I felt pregnant to my first child, my, my son. But what I love is that um, that entrepreneurial spirit that you have is really evident, even though you do have some challenges, and, uh, and I love working with you to overcome those. So just, I just, I adore it. So you were not in Iowa when you, you know, like when you started looking right at the beginning for that, something extra what, what was going through your mind when you when you actually found us brow, brow artists international brow secrets international what was in your mind what were you looking for so when i stumbled across brow formerly brow artists international i was actually looking in a lash forum 
Um, and I saw pictures that Milena Langford from Australia had posted and I noticed that her brows, I mean, even though the, fo the photo was to focus on the lashes, the brows just stood out to me so much. And at that point in time, I was located in Okinawa, Japan, which is a very small island uh, located south of mainland Japan. And I had a studio in my home and it was very successful. It wasn't about needing more clients. I was way overbooked and booked out weeks in advance, but it was about being confident in what I was doing and wanting to really differentiate myself. I knew it was a matter of time before somebody else, you know, picked up on the success of a, a brow business in this location. And so I really wanted to offer women something completely different and to truly differentiate myself. I mean, that's, that's where it all began. And yeah, it, I wanted I remember. to remember. Yeah. <laughs> I remember talking to you <laughs> and it took, how was that for you when we first connected? Cause I, I recall that actually, how was it for you first speaking with me so long ago? I was, what was it feeling impressed. for you? <laughs> I was very impressed. Sorry? I said I was very impressed by your approach to, you know, talking about the program with me and your patience with me, because I remember I spoke to you in January, and I didn't actually make the leap until September. Yes. Like, and yes. Yeah, yeah, it was a long time, and I don't know why, but the, the initial investment is what stopped me, and it, it shouldn't have even been a thought in my mind looking back, but I mean, in, at the beginning, it was the initial investment. Um, I didn't quite, at that point, mm -hmm. I hadn't participated in any education adv advancements. Like I hadn't invested in myself yet. And so that was like a leap of faith. Like, okay, I want this. I want to be different. I want to be more confident in what I'm doing. I want to have, you know, I want to have a, a method, you know, something to really, I want to design principles to stand by and to implement. And Brow Artists International is yeah. absolutely that. So. Yeah, I do recall that. I remember thinking about you because after our first conversation, I loved it. I mean, I just I had this immediate connection with you, and and uh, and I and I remember thinking, where is she? You know, what's happened to her? I haven't heard from her, and I don't I don't know how we got that connected again. But it was it was just fantastic what we did, and and you know, I think it's really a big deal for beauty uh, salon owners or beauty professionals because. We, 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 we either think we're really good at brows or we think we can't get as good as other people at brows. We have all these perspectives, all these beliefs in our minds that stop us sometimes from actually taking that leap of faith and going, you know what, I can't create the brows I'm seeing that these true brow specialists are creating. I can't do it. And, and in a way that in some way for some people is just enough. You know, it's kind of like, well, you know, I can't do it and I know I have to do this for my business to be able to really differentiate and step out. But, you know, that gap can be, there can be a little gap in there for some, not for everyone. Um, and I think for you, it was just amazing when you stepped in because you just stepped in and it was amazing to train you. I loved it. I, and can you tell me a little bit about how your business actually, even when you were in uh, Japan, how your business actually shifted when you came in and what you found that we offered you that really supported you to, to make that, that change so that other salon owners can hear that from, you know, it's your voice that's really important here, Kelsey, for other girls that are, you know, right on that edge or even they don't know what is missing in their businesses but they know something is and they need to get themselves out of that competitive model. What was it um, for you that was really outstanding when you came in? How did, how did we help you to get where you are like now from the perspective of confidence? I mean, there's so many things, right, that I can see. Can you share with us? How did my business shift um, in every way possible, honestly? Um, the amount of support is unbelievable. Like, it almost seems too good to be true, uh, the amount of support that you get ongoing. You're not just handed this manual and expected to figure out how it works. You are guided along the way, and the fact that you are – you know, you can, you submit your work along the way to be, you know, approved and to have guidance the whole way through. I mean, I've been with Brow Secrets International for three years and I still take the online courses. Like I'm, I'm not done. It's an ongoing course and you're always getting better and there's always something to learn. So uh, getting back to the question of how everything has shifted, um, goodness, it was just, it was really difficult for me at first because I was self-taught to implement these new design principles, but it allowed for me to approach a brow with confidence. 
in a completely new way. Um, it wasn't just, oh, okay, I'm going to try to make this look good. Um, I would do what I think would look best. I don't really know what she wants, but I'm just going to go at it. Um, it gave me structure and confidence to approach every client, um, you know, knowing that I had the tools in order to give her what she wanted, which a lot of times they don't even know it's possible. Like I would say eight times out of 10, they just had no idea anything close. Actually, no, I'm just going to say 10 out of 10. They're always amazed. At what <laughs> I, love I don't it. know why I said eight out of 10, but really and truly, I mean, it's gosh, I keep, getting back to the question of how it shifted, but I mean, everything changed in every single aspect and it got so much better. I had no idea the potential that was there. And yeah, the support has to be number one though, honestly. The, the material is amazing, but the support along the way in order to really achieve your fullest potential is, it's unmatched, like you cannot find it. I talk to other beauty professionals and tell them about this amazing organization I'm part of and, um, they're just in awe the amount of support that is provided to you as you go, not just immediately right away, um, but years down the road. I mean, it's amazing. That's so beautiful. And I think that, you know, one of the things with um, Brow Seeks International is we are, I would say that we're probably the first beauty training organization um, in the world to offer the kind of training that we do. I don't think it's ever been, I can honestly say, because I've researched this and investigated it, I don't know of any other organization that does it. And I think that that foundational is because the way that I view training and education, I am an absolute crazy person, really. <laughs> we you can probably you. agree to that, right? <laughs> when it comes to um education and and how people learn you know and one of the biggest fears i know that of a lot of people is that am i really going to be able to do this like all these other girls are doing it we have this unconscious fear that we're not going to make it like we're going to be the one that's going to miss out that's not going to know how to do it but that knowing that i think foundationally because i come you know from that that subconscious i understand that fear that people have the training is really uh put together to to cut through that. And I think if you do all the things which you did, I mean, you really did everything. You were on live classes. It didn't matter what time it was. You uploaded your images. And these weekly live classes, even still you jump on them, which I just find just so beautiful. So many of the girls that have started with us so long ago still jump on and bring on a brow and go, you know, I've got no idea how to do this brow, Al. What would you do? And there's always that support. And that's purely because I understand human nature. I understand how we learn. I understand fear. I understand, you know, that it is that which we, you know, really stops us. And um, and I also understand that to, it's not just about brows, Kelsey, is it? It's like it's about business. And, you know, one of the biggest things that, uh, and I want to really put this forward to you to tell me what you think, you know, I always say to you, do you want to be the best at brows or do you want to have the best brow business? And as a salon growth expert, for me, that's another passion of mine. Like, I've been doing this for a very, very long time, and I understand that to be the best of brows is a very small, limited part. And we have these conversations, don't we? Yes, <laughs> we do. <laughs> we really do. And and how do you find that? How do you find that I'm available to you, really, to, to push you through and get you through to the next step and the next step? I mean, how do you find that? What's that? I'm sorry. How do you find that uh, that you I'm available to you to get you through to the next level and the next step and the conversations that we have? Because I love our conversations. I love when we do when you reach out and we do get to to connect and talk about your business. Because I mean, this is what it's really about, isn't it? It really isn't about brows. It, I mean, the brows are are the foregone conclusion. We're going to get you there. We're going to get you to create beautiful brows, naturally restore them, and we're going to come back to the natural restoration in a minute. Kira, please remind me. But I think that what's really, really important is it isn't about the brows. It's the true brow business model, really, and the program now, and just the support. Would you agree, like, that that is how, – how do you feel about that? Right. When I first joined, it was about my, it was about the brows. I mean, that's really all it was about for me when I first started. But now as I keep going, I realize it's about so much more than that. And I love the fact that I can email support and say, hey, I need to talk to Elle. And I am given the opportunity to schedule an appointment with you. And I get 30 minutes of your time. And 
you know, that that doesn't happen (laughs) with other companies and people that are the head of the company. It's not like it's an extension of, of the brand. It's you that I get to speak to and bounce ideas off of. So that is really amazing. I think, um, just how available you are in such a, you know, I mean, it is a family in a sense it is small, but the fact that there are so many specialists, you still make yourself so available to everybody. I do my best. I do yeah. my best. I still get to sleep at night. I have a little bit of a window, but yeah. <laughs> and to write a book, mind you. How do, oh, that's just insane, isn't it? But let me just say, Kelsey, um, I want to speak to that because, you know, for me it's kind of like, you know, my time um, definitely is going to have to be given out a little bit differently to our, you know, I, I'm thinking to the newer people because we've got so many and it, it really is like... Um, it's really been exciting for me to be able to do that, but we're always looking at ways of really broadening. Even this is about that. You know, it's about giving back, constantly giving back. Because for me, if I don't give, you know, what am I going to do with all of this love and all of this knowledge and all of it if I'm not giving it out and being a value to others? And so for me, I love doing that. I love that I get the opportunity to support this young woman who is amazing and keeps like, coming up against things inside of herself and all she wants to do is just she just needs that little bit of just that something and there she goes and she's stretching and she's stretching for me that's miraculous that's that's the part of my life where I just think wow when I watched like what where Kelsey's come from where she was and how she's stepping how you are really doing that Kelsey you're doing it I'm not doing it I mean I'm for me I'm there because I love watching what my students actually truly become, what salon owners actually can do for their lives because, you know, that for me is the most exciting of all things. And um, I do make myself available as much as I can. And I think that our initial girls have really had the value of that, you know, because we've sort of developed. And and I know that Brow um, Artists, formerly Brow Artists International, Brow Secrets International now and the brand True Brow, which Brow Secrets International has founded, Mm-hmm. Um, I know that we've gone through so much change. How has that been for you? Like we've really developed, haven't we? We just keep developing and developing and we've kind of hit this beautiful plateau now where we're just now just reaching. How has that changed? I mean, I know for some people change can be really hard. How has that been for you that, that we've been developing almost together in a way? It's been really exciting actually um, and I love the changes um, that are coming into place. Um, you want me to just tell you again or what's that did you want me to repeat that no are we having internet connections are we going Kira just having a little breakdown of um, stream girls ladies you just give us a minute how we do and uh, just, I just want to say in the meantime, while we're waiting to see what's happening with Kelsey, is if you're going to be watching this recording later, leave your comments. We'd love to hear them. It doesn't matter when you watch them. Ask us questions. This is completely fine. This is all for you. And the other thing is right now if you're watching, tell us where you are. We'd love to see where you're located. Just type it in. So we love it when you girls do that. And by all means, um, share anything that you wish with us. It's completely fine. We're here for you. This is really, really beautiful. Kelsey is she's frozen or is she able to? Mm, she can't seem to be. Okay. Yes, so she can hear. You can hear. Awesome, Kelsey. Okay, she's just doing a couple of little things. <laughs> her end. So um, I'm going to just keep going, and and I think that one of the next questions I'm going to ask Kelsey when she sets herself back up again is this idea that uh, a lot of you you know, share with us about natural brow restoration, you know, how does the brow grow back and it's kind of unbelievable. And, you know, one of the, the key key things is that, you know, how do you make it grow back? Um, we, you know, Brow Secrets International did something pretty brave. We really did. Um, when I think back and I even think now, I just think, wow, you know, Paul, you know, what were we thinking? Um, we actually stepped in and said to you, hey, girls, you know, you, you don't think brows grow back, but we can show you how. And for some of some of salon owners, it's just too unbelievable. You know, they think we've got a trick or we've got something that's going on or that, you know, and, and the thing is that really the reality, we've got Kelsey back, um, the reality is that our girls are proving this day and day again, that the brow, over 90% of the brow, 
um, does grow back with the, if you've got the knowledge. And it's not just Kelsey, um, and you can, you know, like I'd like you to speak to that, but I also want to say that a lot of girls think, oh, you know, it's just about tinting and letting the brow, you know, picking up all this, you know, valus hair and all of a sudden, you know, you're restoring a brow. How was the whole, which isn't true, it's not that at all. And, uh, and in fact, by doing that, you can compromise women's brows more rather than giving them, you know, what they really deserve. How was this whole natural restoration um, niche that you have definitely stepped into? You're one of our girls, you don't touch microblading, you don't touch any alternatives. How is it for your business? How did, how's it changed your business? It kind of defines my business a bit to be able to really stand behind what I'm doing and to not, you know, I, I don't offer microblading. I think when it's done correctly, I think it's beautiful, but it's not what I want to, to do. And I think the fact that um, I stand behind natural brow restoration as my only means of, you know, brow service, I think speaks a lot to my clients, um, you know, and it's ability to, oh gosh, I'm getting all over with my words, but you know, the fact that I'm able to stand behind natural brow restoration and design as my means of creating these beautiful brows and revealing these beautiful brows, I think speaks volumes to my clients. So, uh -huh. yeah, I, yeah. That is, that is so good. I was speaking to someone on Friday about that who was asking about, you know, but what about, you know, microblading, feather stroking? You know, the whole thing is that the marketplace really wants clarity. And what you just said is that it defines your business. I mean, you know, if we've worked with some of the world's top marketers, you know, absolutely amazing marketers, one thing that they say is clarity beats, uh, beats uh, persuasion. It's like it really clarity for the marketplace is everything. And uh, with natural brow restoration, I know you had a 64-year-old lady that wrote actually yeah. on our true brow, yes, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> Gorgeous client, and she wrote. What did she write? Can you do you recall what she actually wrote on the True Brow social media uh, social media platform? I believe she wrote just about how she couldn't believe that her brows were growing back at sixty four years old. They've been yes, you know, one way her whole life, and now they're growing, and she has shape, and she loves it. And I remember her first design. She came, and once once I showed her in the mirror, she just sat in front of the mirror, and I swear she was getting emotional because she just yeah. couldn't believe that. This, these were her brows. They, they were her brows. It wasn't something that I put on her. It was something that I revealed and I showed her, like, this is what they can become. This is how they can enhance you. And it's kind of one of those, you believe it when you see it. Yeah. And, and I think that one of the most powerful things for salons around that is that everyone else is telling these people, most other beauty professionals, probably 99% are saying, well, yeah, your brows don't grow. Um, and then they come to our specialists and our girls prove that just completely false. I mean, imagine the, the, the trust factor and the loyalty factor that those women um, have inside of themselves for that expert. It's all, all of a sudden it's kind of like, well, everyone else is wrong and these guys are really know what they're talking about. And so it, it really is about building a really powerful, powerful business. And, and I think that this is what True Brow really, Brassives International offers women and the brand that, that it's founded, True Brow, is actually saying, you know what, authenticity, like linking your, your brand, Kelsey, which is what you've done, link, linking Artisan Lash and Brow to um, a brand that is authentic, loyal, offers integrity, uh, is always going to tell the truth. You know, I mean, these things are what matter to women. Um, our ideal clients anyway, I would say. So I think that's really, really, really important. And uh, and you've definitely proven that with your work, like over and over. And and it isn't obviously just about tinting a brow and finding all this hair and all of a sudden, you know, it's not about that. Could you share a little bit about that? Do you agree with me? I mean, you, you know, that's, the girls want to hear it straight from you. This is what salon owners want. They want to hear it straight from your mouth rather than from me you know, just telling them, but um, have you found that that's, it's just completely different, like that the principles are, are profoundly significant? Like, how is that for you? So, okay, I'm sorry. So you're asking if, can you repeat it? I'm sorry, it cut out. Yeah, just basically, you know, how is it the idea that there's so much more to just like, it's not just about doing a tin. I mean, we have girls that can't tint in their states and still restore brows. 
that there's so much more. People tend to think that it's a slap on, you know, yeah, I can do it. I would still browse, I can. How's that for you? You know, you can you can find a lot of hair when you tend browse, obviously. Um, but Brow Secrets International and the True Brow System, it's about so much more than what you can do with the brow right then and there. Um, you know, I tell my clients it's about being able to look at somebody's brows and, you know, see what it can become. And it's about, you know, the, the journey to getting there, the fact that it, it will happen and keeping your clients reassured of the process and confident, you know, in you and the process itself. And so when you're confident in the process and you know it works, they believe you. If you're confident in yourself, they're going to believe you. Absolutely. Because your belief, what you believe is, is the truth. It does grow back. And so um, it's definitely different than just tinting it and designing it right then and there. Um, but, you know, it definitely happens. It absolutely grows back. And so... And it, 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 it it's sort of like... Sorry for interrupting, but it's like taking them through the program now is what really... Um, the True Brow program... How has that really supported your, you know, your your clients and your business? The True Brow program has supported clients and business by supporting me, um, you know, really giving me the tools mm -hmm. to, in order to succeed, um, to give them my very best and to, you know, just to, to guide them, I suppose. Um, the True Brow program has given me the confidence to you know, be my best self, the best version of myself, um, to put that forth to my clients. So they, you know, they feed off of that. When you are confident in what you're doing, and I am because of the True Brow program, and I'm not just saying that, like, it's made a world of difference. I mean, I am a completely different person and business owner and True Brow specialist since I first started. And so it, I don't know, it makes the biggest difference. It really does. So beautiful. I just love hearing you say that. And, you know, because I absolutely know the truth of it. And my last question to you actually was going to be something about that. You know, did you ever believe when you first stepped into what was considered to be brow training that um, you would be linked with a company that would hold your hand basically and, uh, and continue to just help you? Every time you hit a cutting edge in your life and in your business life, and you're thinking, you know, what do I do now? You know, that did you ever believe that when you when you stepped in with us that we would be together, working together, you know, like jumping all these kinds of hurdles and getting you like, you know, your vision for your for your business right now, Kelsey, is completely different to what it was even six months ago, if I recall. Yep. I mean, how how is that for you? You know, like I said earlier, when I initially joined, it was all about you know, wanting to have the best approach to brows. But in the end, I mean, looking back now, the the biggest value that I've gotten is from, you know, the business support and guiding me to, to find my path. And everybody's is different, but with your help and everybody else's help, you know, the mastermind group of other business owners, it, I mean, it really helps you in ways that you didn't even realize were possible. So it, Gosh, I mean, it's almost hard to explain the the depth of impact that it's had. I mean, it's completely changed my, you know, aspirations and goals. I'm I'm thinking further and bigger than I ever thought I would be able to. Um, I know I just put this in our initial in our initial uh, you know talk years ago, but I was charging like twenty to thirty dollars for a brow. Um, and I was taking my time because I wanted it to be perfected. And now I charge 120. And so it just, it's amazing. And I never, I mean, I remember when you said 90 and I was like, whoa, lady, I'm just not sure. That seems like a lot. And now I'm to the point where I just can't believe where I'm at now. And so I want to thank you for that. So that's just, it's a, yeah, it's, it's almost unbelievable if I, was back years ago and telling myself, this is where you're going to be. It, I don't know that I would have believed it. I didn't know it was possible. And it is. Uh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Kelsey. But I want to say that you are where you are because of you mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and how willing and how brave you've really been. And, and this is for every salon owner. Salon owners do not need to struggle 
and be in the competitive model. I, I really see you as having stepped out of the competitive model in your location. You, you actually left Japan, went to Iowa and started right from scratch. You, mm-hmm. changed, you created a brand new business and now you're looking at expanding. And I mean, this is really because of who you are and how you've worked with us so we can make that a reality for you because it isn't about brows. It is about having the best brow business, the best natural brow restoration business in your location. And for me, when I look at you, Kelsey, I see so much potential. I see your character. I see who you are as a, as a young woman, and I'm inspired by that. And I mean that. I mean, you know, this is why you're here and we're communicating with you because, you know, you really are just great. And uh, I, can't, I couldn't be happier that we have you in our community. And, uh, and thank you for sharing so much of, uh, of your experience with Brow Secrets International and me and, uh, and uh, with everybody. I think that's absolutely beautiful and, and really what it is that we do. I mean, you know, we don't do what is normal. And, and whenever there's an innovation in the world, there's also, you know, we've had this whole idea of, uh, you mentioned Brow Family before. And we've had this whole idea uh, about being a cult or something because, you know, we do, which I find hilarious. And the whole idea of that is, is people don't understand that, that a company can care so much. You know, it's kind of, oh, it has to be something weird. How could it be, you know, how can this be possible? Is this really right. true? Like, is this what companies really do? And the whole point is that we've stepped into the industry and we've said we do care. The salon owner is absolutely our number one uh you know, number one focus. And people, some people just can't handle that. It's kind of like, whoa, really? Is this real? You know, it's kind of like it can't be real, can it? But the point is that what I think what you've shared with us today is that it is real. Mm-hmm. And uh, and people can expect that. And it doesn't matter what size a salon is. It could be a big salon and we've had some very big salons. We've had salons that have grown from, you know, two team members to eight within, you know, 18 months, two years. We've had salons that have just been at home and then just bursted into, you know, having uh, storefront salons or just continually growing. And at the moment, the exponential growth I'm seeing among all of our uh, almost, or so many, I should say, of our true brow specialists, our certified salons, is blowing my mind. Like, I just can't believe it. And, and you know, this is happening everywhere. And, uh, and we're, we're definitely looking for more um, salons, you know, so that we can help them to actually really step in and do the same thing you've done and the same thing all our other girls are doing using this very, very beautiful system. How have you found the collection before we finish up? How has that been for you, the True Brow Collection? Oh, my gosh. I love it <laughs> so much. I was just telling you before we – I mean, I, I had four that, that went home with my clients today. I absolutely love the collection and I say it like in all my posts, but I really do mean it. It achieves such a natural fullness. It's unbelievable. Yet, I, yeah, I just can't even believe it half the time how well it blends in with the growth um, of the brow. It's allowing clients to experience that full, beautiful potential of their brows before they've grown back. And even when they do grow back, it just is the finishing touch to, to get the brows to that next level and, my clients can't believe, like, oh, my gosh, it doesn't look like I have all this makeup on my brows. Yeah. They look so beautiful. And they do. And so, no, they're, it's a very popular item, and my clients are loving it. And so do I. So. Yeah. I love hearing that. And, you know, the, the True Brow Collection for me was, well, it was almost on the edge of, am I really going to make this happen? You know, am I going to be able to bring this incredible product that I've got inside of me that is, you know, like I, I, I was inspired to create? Am I really going to make this real? Am I going to bring it into reality and manifest it? And, and I really had to look for an incredible team to do that. I really did of, um, of you know, minds to really be able to put that together. You know, when I hear you say that, mm-hmm. oh, I'm so amazed because I love it too. I love the versatility that it gives me every day. I can do whatever I want with my brows. I don't have something on my brows that I, you know, I'm, I'm stuck with, whether I like it or not. I can express myself every single day the way that I want. And the collection for me is just such a treasure. I just, I feel that the world has been waiting for it. And, uh, and it's really beautiful to have you reinforce that and to confirm that to everyone and that your clients are loving it. Kelsey, what a beautiful time we've had together. This is yeah. so lovely. Thank you so much. And we didn't share that you had in the middle of all of this, you had a baby. Well, yeah, like a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> and not only 
is just yeah. a baby. Baby, I'm madly in love with. Like, I'm completely in love with your baby. You know that, don't you? I've never met her, but I can't wait, actually. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. So how is it for you to be doing all this growth and be a new mum? Um, I feel like being a business owner and brow specialist be a better mom um love the best between the two i i love her dearly but i don't think i could stay home all the time um but it's it's definitely presented its challenges for sure uh, balancing everything and prioritizing and getting it all done but it's worked <laughs> so i'm here yeah. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful to see you that you've been able to bring all these pieces together. And you know, one of the things that I say in the art of entrepreneurship is that we are women with so many hats and facets to us, paths to us. We can't just, you know, get a have a successful business and then other things fall apart. We've got to work out the way. It's what I love bringing to women is the way where they can put all those pieces together and have a great life. You know, it's no point having a great business and and, and not a great life. There's, there's no value in that. So, you know, having been through it myself and having been a single mother and having two children and, uh, and you know, having to find that balance and really do the best that I could, um, it's really beautiful to support other mums as they're doing that. I, I love that. I love it so much. Thank you, Kelsey. It's been great. Is there anything else? Yeah, I just want to remind people to tell us where they're watching from. Oh, and would you like to just uh, please type in where you are, your location right now. Where are you watching from? We'd love you to type that into the comment section. And um, what else do we want to remind? Any questions? Any questions? You can just type them in, for, even for Kelsey. I'm sure she won't mind. You won't mind, really, Kelsey, if anyone has a question. And uh, and for me, you know, whatever you whatever you love, whatever you desire, Write it down in the comments section if you're watching this video later, and uh, as a because it will be uploaded, um, I'm sure. Please write your comments, tag anyone that you feel might benefit, even if you're not a salon owner and you're watching this and you think, you know what, I want to have a true brow specialist, a true brow certified salon in my area, and I don't think I have one. Tag your local salon um, at the bottom here so that they can come in and have a look and maybe they can contact us and we can share the love, share the brow love and, uh, and, and really, you know, give you that natural brow that you deserve because you can have it um, the majority of the time. And if you can't, a true brow specialist is definitely the only person in the world that's going to be able to tell you that you truly can or cannot have it. So it's really, really important. Thank you, Kelsey, once again. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We're coming back with so much more. This is just the beginning. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thank Bye you. Bye now. Bye.